Happy Anniversary! All right, we're here. Inquisition, thank you so much. 12 months, that's a year. Congrats on the Rainbow Moon. Thank you so much for all your support. Hope you're doing well. Good to see you. And everyone, welcome in. Hey, UK, good to see you. Yeah, um, I took the day off yesterday, folks, but I did play some Ark with Perfect Trip, and he streamed it, and uh, we tried to do, like, the final, you know, beat the game, and we died. <laughs> well, we basically... We're like uh, 10 seconds short of doing what we needed to do to get to somewhere. Anyways, we didn't we didn't succeed. <laughs> but cheers, everyone. Good to see you. Uh, welcome, folks. Widowmaker, welcome in. Close, yeah. Uh, well, we fiddled around too long, and now we know what we can do to be faster. So we'll, we'll get there. We'll get there. And thank you, everyone, for joining. Cheers, welcome in. Dallin, good to see you. Solar, welcome. Yeah, the Rainbow Moon. You know what? I, I've talked about this before, but I have more slots for the sub badges. So <clears throat> I kind of put it out there to my artist and he was like, just let me know what you want. And I was like, oh, dang, <laughs> I was hoping he'd do the, the heavy lifting for me and just think of all the good ideas. But yeah, I can't really think of where to take it next. Hey, Andrew Ash, good to see you. But yeah, the, the moon could evolve. All right, let's resume. We are in Mountaineer set. We've just crafted some pants, right? Like I survived another night. And we survived another night. So look at us. We got deer pants. We got a double jacket. Uh, I had a dream last night that I got these gloves ruined in a fight. Do you think that's some sort of omen? They're going to lose these gloves today? Take note. Take note, chat. All right, we got some hot bevies. What do we got for f fuel? 20 sticks. Oh, look at this. We got sticks. Uh, you know what I was thinking, too? We should... We should read this and try to do some fishing. Would that be crazy? We'll make some, uh, tackle. Fishing tackle. So what we could do is tear this up. It's our extra hammer. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Look at this is where all our stuff is. Okay, let's, uh, let's, let's keep consistent here, chat. So what do we have? We have an extra hide. Uh, we're looking, we need one more, one more deer hide so we can then craft our pants, a second pair. Because we just got the jeans, right? Gotta, gotta upgrade as much as we can as soon as we can because when we hit you know day 50 and we don't have a bear coat it's gonna be tough <laughs> you're uh forced to play on ps4 yeah uh grim i i started on ps4 so i played for about 800 hours i'd say on ps4 and then i switched to pc but yeah uh the ps4 version is awesome works great it's just l lower frame rate but if you're if you're used to playing on like 140 frames you'll notice it otherwise it's not a big deal rabbit trafficker that reminds me i gotta go check yeah uh dallin i actually have two forest cave and eric's falls cave i also i there's like so much i have to do but i only have nine days like we we also have the rabbits to process right didn't we just get some more rabbits no maybe not i don't know i can't remember i should be taking note <clears throat> Six snare behind mountain hut. Okay, I didn't take note of uh, anything valuable, but that's fine. Oh, I have a deer hide in a cave? Um, well, you know what happened is we had one deer that we got killed, you remember, in the back of the cave at forest or deer clearing? I didn't get the hide because it froze. I got the meat and that was it. I got the meat by hand. I let the deer freeze and I didn't get the hide. So unless you're thinking of another cave? I don't know. You're used to 30, then it won't bother you at all. Oh, we even have food. Look at this, chat. 
Look at this. I want to keep an eye on things out here, because if we see a deer over there, we'll try to get a kill. And also, we just need sticks like, like crazy. We need a lot of sticks if we're going to hang out at Mountaineer's Hut. This isn't an ideal base for mid late game, unless you're really, really prepared. So while we can, we like wander around and pick up some sticks. And then if there's like a blizzard, we can just feed a fire sticks and keep us warm. Great place to camp out. It's not bad at all, honestly. It's just, uh, I thought the moose was over here. We didn't see markings at the wing, but I think the moose is at the wing. So, oh, there are some sticks over here. We'll get them in the next what, wake up. <laughs> but yeah, there's deer, there's fishing, there's rabbits. We have the craft table, we have fishing hut if we get the cabin fever. So at the end of the day, I think we'll be fine to camp here for a bit and chill. Sky Captain, welcome in. Everyone, thanks for joining. Loading screens, yeah, Summer's right. Uh, that's something I noticed immediately. The loading screens are pretty instant. Like, sometimes you can't even read the little blurb that they have in the corner of the screen. But on PS4, it's like, all right, I'm going to make a coffee. I'll see you guys in 15, 20 minutes and uh, we'll, we'll play the video game. <laughs> it's a bit, a bit dramatic, but no, seriously, it is it is something you notice when you switch. But if you aren't used to it yet, it won't, it won't bother you. It's, it's, any, it's any transition, so inside a house or a cave system. Didn't I see sticks? Where, where, where did these sticks go? Up here, maybe? I swore I spied some sticks off in the distance. That sprint bar is looking pretty sad. These weren't here before, so they've just spawned in. Kinda cool. And this is what we'll do, is we'll just stockpile sticks while we can, and then when the weather gets better, we'll go do some adventuring. I do want to get to Forest Cave, and I think there's a deer potentially just hanging around in that area. Like maybe uh, one we can easily harvest to hide from. Love the zone, close to ash, yeah. Oh, right, uh, UK's right. If you have a PS5, then it's improved as well. But yeah, PS4 versus a PS4 Pro, you'll probably even notice a difference. <clears throat> okay, let's get a couple hours. You get used to it. Some say aiming is harder. I think maybe that's just with controller. Controller, it's a bit harder to aim, only because the finer movements here aren't aren't as easy. So what you end up doing on controller is aiming using strafe a bit more. If that makes sense instead of the the like whatever axis that is. <laughs> but yeah, it's once you get used to it it's fine. I did okay aiming on the on the controller. It just takes a bit. All right, let's uh, trash this hammer. Why not? We have two. We don't need two hammers. 30 minutes for two scrap and a fur? I'll take it. And then what we can do is make, uh... Hook and line. Because we only have one half a sewing kit. Nice, let's go. Yeah, like, honestly, this isn't... It's not like a FPS shooter where you're using your weapon all the time. Like, every once in a while, you need to aim your bow or your flare gun or your gun. But in general, it's not really about that. Alright, let's make some tackle. Hey, Saber, welcome in. Scrap and hammers? Yeah, well, we have two already. And we're, in, we're only into the first two maps. So, like, there's going to be a hammer... 
you know, in Mystery Lake, in probably Pleasant Valley. Like, we'll, we'll find some hammers. It's fine. We don't really need any more than one anyways. We'll drop it at the forge, too, once we build our hatchet. And I think the more and more I think about it, Desolation Point... I don't know, it could be tough in Crumbling Highway for 10 days. Could be a challenge. guy's not coming to steal my meat, is he? Good. He probably sent in me and then backed off. Alright, let's get some sleep now. And just do our thing. Maybe we'll check some rabbits soon. PS4 version has all the PC languages in it. Uh, I assume it would. Grim, but I don't know for sure. I don't know for certain. Yeah, we talked about that before. It's a good way to learn the language if you are, you know, using the subtitles to help. Oh. I'll save those for the pants because they are much much faster when you use the fishing use any shells no we haven't so you know people are saying go hunt a bear but i i'm not i'm not really keen on that we're a bit of a ways away from cooking five <clears throat> that's not a bear worth of cooking five and two we don't have a hacksaw so anything i shoot i have to do by hand i can't i can't use a hacksaw unless we're willing to destroy it one second we, uh, we used up our hacksaw opening crates and harvesting deer and stuff, so... I gotta be careful. Anything we shoot, I kind of think I need to worry about processing my hand as much as I can. Kind of curious, what's our uh, rabbit snares at? 25, okay, there's at least one. Let's sit, we'll grab a tea and go over there and see what happens. And I'll, I'm trying just to reset the one trap instead of all of them. <clears throat> that way they'll continually pop off, hopefully. I don't know. I, I don't even know. Maybe going over here is the wrong idea, actually. Maybe we should wait until, like, there's 28 rabbits. Because, like, someone was saying that you might reset it by going into this, the area where the rabbits are. Does that make sense? Ah, uh, there were sticks here. I knew it. The sticks. They tricked me. Yeah, this is, uh... This is living, chat. You, you know we're actually doing good if we have downtime to casually wander around picking up sticks near our base. I'm so hopeful that we can get a deer wandering around. <laughs> hey, acquired taste. We're good to see you. Yeah, shells are precious. We gotta play it. Play it smart, yeah. Blades, good to see you. Welcome in. And thanks, Minecraft, for doing shouts. Playing some Stardew. Blades, uh, how are you liking Stardew? I think you'd said it's your first playthrough, right? Uh, amazing game. I'm, I really like Stardew. <laughs> I didn't think I would either. Alright, let's just read a little bit. I think... We have the Firestart book. Might be nice to get Firestart 5. But we're we're a ways away from that, so we might as well just get our fishing skill up. Right? Fire start four soon. Could be good. Ice fishing? Ah, uh, we really don't need to worry about that. 
I don't know if I want to go ice fishing. Maybe if we get cabin fever, we read this book and go fishing. <clears throat> This one's probably better value of our time. You're new, we having a blast, nice. Yeah, I found I got pretty stressed out because there's just so much to do and there's only so much time in the day. You know, I wanted to make sure I, I went and did everyone's like chores and I wanted to um, get everyone's gifts that they wanted and do all like fishing, mining. I want to do a bit of everything every day. You know, I got it. I got overwhelmed. <laughs> Oh, look at this weather. Dang. Is this like your house? This is my base right now, yeah. So you can see we have our cupboard with our, our things in it. We've done some crafting here already. Oh, that's something I, I was thinking about. This lamp is in better shape than the one I have now. Right? Oh, not by much. Okay, we'll just we'll wear it out and then switch. Not a big deal. There's a deer now. Okay, here we go, folks. So let's just try to make uh, the deer meet the wolf. Uh, I'll bring some meat with me. It's dusk, so I can't be far behind. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't worry, Astro. I got a plan. Get you a meal. So. I don't see the wolves anymore, but we got some sink on us, so maybe they'll pop out. That or the barrel will wander over here. Yeah, the wolves despawned and now we got a deer. Oh, there they are. Okay, okay. So... This cabin... Uh, is people's first supermarket? Yeah. We got a good, uh, good stockpile of crap here, that's for sure. Just jump, we're organizing. Okay, the deer went the wrong way. The wolf hasn't scented me. Okay, there. Now he has. I'm gonna try something. Aw, oh, I thought it was a Meglin's day, maybe. Let's just hang out here, try to set up a little, little happy spot. I hope it doesn't aurora on us and uh, <laughs> try to get this deer. Too many things you want to do? Yeah, I think you kind of need to focus one one skill a little bit. I don't know. Don't don't let me tell you how to play. <laughs> but yeah, like I wanted to do everything, right? That was my problem. It's a good torch. Not smell me. I got two whole steaks on me. My fingers feel numb. Thought I heard the wolf. Let's hang out here a bit, I guess, and we only have one stone. Oof. I think I need to lay down. Wait till the aurora pops off, I guess. <laughs> uh, 
uh, the sticks and wood are bugged. Yeah, it looks like that for me, Solar, because I went out there, I thought I saw them warmed up and then went out and they were gone, and then they were in another area, and then they were in the first area they weren't before. I don't know, it was kind of strange. Kind of weird. Did I hear an Aurora start? I was joking. I don't want an Aurora. Okay, it looks, looks okay. See what happens. Okay, that wolf is in a better position to be dragged over here, I think. We got the music. Wait, come on. The music stopped. Yeah, come on, buddy. I I'm calling you over. I got stakes. Oh, that, that deer over here is getting hunted by this wolf. Yeah, here we go. Oh, he's going to my cabin, chat. I'm going in here so the wolf doesn't accidentally see me. Oh, no. Come on. Go get the deer. What just happened then? Where where'd everything go? Oh, the wolf's like going way up over there now. Where's the deer? Yeah, there's a wolf, but where's the deer? Last I saw, he was heading towards my cabin. Oh, he's there! I see him! Okay, okay, okay. Alright, hope that works. He was behind the trees. Okay, he's now in the zone. Let's try to grab some wolves back. Alright, we got him back. Dang, this is complicated. I thought this would be easy. Invisibility hacks. Yeah, he was behind the tree. Okay, one of you has to decide who's coming to get me. This seems like we're at a bit of a stalemate here. Is is any one of you coming? Choose. 
Okay, we've got a we've got a warrior selected. Get the deer. Get the deer. Right in front of my doorway, please and thank you. <laughs> oh my god. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> the parking contest was that? They're hell under the moon. Okay, hold on. Hold on. Chad, it's not We've not won the battle yet. There's some danger happening. <laughs> okay, what we could do is just try to start a fire out there. Like right here. <laughs> Stolen deer. Yeah, well, I'm I'm just going to try to get as much of this as we can. Uh by hand, unfortunately. So I'll probably drink Come a on. coffee and just harvest the whole thing. Ah, should I just carcass harvest chat? Risk it for the biscuit? Perfect. What do we got in here? Hour two, let's put a couple sticks in. A coal and a stick. And then... Sorry, Hacksaw. I'm sorry. I didn't mean it. I said I wasn't going to hurt you. Okay, here we go. Hype, hype, hype. Get your hype, hype, hype. <laughs> okay. Hey, we're good to see you. Hey, we got a cliff. Deer door delivery. Love it. Yeah, that was awesome. Literally dropped in my front step twice in a row. Uh, what? <laughs> that happened in the deer clearing, too. Okay. Let's just check on this situation here. 46 minutes. Okay. Wow. I think is just play it cool here. Let's get out of here. We've um, we've done well. Let's not screw it up now. There's no bear. Hey, we got a heist. Arcadia, welcome. Ruak again, thanks for joining. Um, everyone, appreciate you all. We do have a merch store, if that's what you're looking for. Uh, the redeems, I might be on a command. Exclamation point. Commands, I think. If that's what you're looking for. We're wearing our vest. Nears hut. This is awesome, chat. This is great. <laughs> Free deer. We just needed another one too to uh, finish up what we we're doing. I'll. Uh, the thing with the venison is, as we cook it, it's 36 minutes in a pot, so it's kind of a waste to sleep and cook at the same time. So what I'll do is I'll process it, then we'll have another fire when we wake up, and um, we'll cook it up then. But for now, we don't need to cook it. Like we're not starving to death. 
I'm surprised this wolf hasn't caught up to me. He's a little slowpoke. He's not really uh, proven to be much of a threat. The sit rep. All right. Uh, give me a second to just close the door. How about <laughs> Astrid? I kind of want to try to get a fire started. Let's see. Nope. Didn't work. Oh, maybe it did. Hey, Al Nuggets. So the situation is we're on about day 32, 33. We've uh, looted the majority of Timberwolf Mountain except for Eric's Cave and Forest Cave. We don't have a toolkit, so our hacksaw is in danger of getting destroyed. But we've just secured, you know, several days of food here. So I feel like, all in all, we're in an okay spot. Uh, I guess let's just put a coffee down. Want one more tour. Torch. Let's do that. Oh, that's a torch. Look at that one. Beauty. Okay. Oh, you know what? Actually, no. We need water. Let's just have a fire. Let's just do the do the thing we do. We'll do this while we can, and let's see. Then we can sleep. Did you summit? Yes, we summited. Uh, it was actually. Hold on. Uh, we summited two streams ago. So in yesterday's stream, we were set up at uh, deer clearing and we hunted two deer there. So we actually had one deer run, or a wolf run a deer into the cave and it killed it with the deer touching the back of the cave. Like, literally the warmest part lurking. All right, enjoy, Mary, and thanks uh, for hanging out. I hope we had a good time in the garden. So yeah, we're on day 32. We've got the snares set up over here. Uh, six snares. We've crafted some pants. We've basically just been chilling. Like, we've been having a good time. Negotiator, welcome in. Thank you, appreciate you. Okay. Let's, uh, let's do some processing while we can. And again, we're going to do this all in half kilo slices, so we don't have to use the hacksaw. Cheers. Cheers. And keep this in mind, this is giving us more harvesting skill. So we're actually going to get Carcass Harvesting 5 faster by doing this. Uh, because it's actually the time spent harvesting. If you harvest with a hacksaw when it's frozen meat, it's actually the fastest it's going to be. So we're uh, we're getting extra harvesting skill. So it's all, all, all good. Found a hammer? Yeah, we found a hammer in the fishing hut. So no hacksaw on the mountain. The, the hacksaw that we have is now at... Oh, this is actually good to know. It was at 26, and now it's at 25. We lost 1% for an hour quartering. I think I'm going to be taking that risk again. I think I'm going to do that again. <laughs> That's not that bad. I thought it'd be like 5%. So our hacksaw is in rough shape, but at the same time, it's not that bad. Actually, let's do a bit more cooking. And then we'll boil water while we sleep and carry on the cooking. This is awesome. DoorDash yet again. We should eat the old meat first, but it's all in great shape because it's all pretty much brand new. Well, we did haul, like, we hauled a whole deer and a bunch of stuff from deer clearing, but it's okay. Four liters of water, chat. Look at this. Crazy. That's so nuts having two pods here. Last time we lived in Timberwolf Mountain for any length of time, we had one can. It was a nightmare. 
piece of cake compared to the back rock. Yeah, it truly is. Day 32 yet. Yeah, okay. <clears throat> 32 days. Just finish the processing. We're getting a little stockpile of water, food, guts, hides. So in a few days, we'll be able to make another pair of deer pants. And that would be awesome. Will be a big upgrade from the tattered jeans we're wearing. And we've held our health for a bit, so we're now kind of staying somewhat consistent. Not even that tired. What are you talking about? Yeah, we're having a good time now compared to the last couple weeks. Oh my goodness, Astrid's is just saying, Is this is this real? Can we just always live this good? I feel like we should go check the rabbits too, while things are still nice. There's a uh, potential 25, which is one, so we want to see if there's two. Two or three, then we'll go over there. So yeah, we summited, but we just have a uh, forest cave and Eric's Falls salute. Also, we left one container at the summit just because we kind of didn't have uh, much of a hacksaw left, really. Hey, Freezing Man, welcome in. You're gonna play some TLD, nice. Well, good luck, enjoy. I hope you have a solid run, whatever it is you're getting up to. Yeah, for those playing along, TLD, hope your runs are going good, or if you're just a TLD in general, taking a break for a moment. Hope uh, whatever you got going on is going good. Yeah, we feel very fortunate here today. I hope other people feel the same way. This game's been kicking my butt, like, not, not even exaggerating for a while now. So to have a couple... Oh, I thought that was a wolf right there. To have a couple easy wins like that with the deer, oh, take it. You know what we forgot? Freshy hide. Interesting. You used to let me do this. Oh. 99, okay, that's good. So we could uh, plan for those pants soon. Sooner than later. Hey Shem, welcome in. Create a challenge. Uh, now it's spawning and surviving on Ash Canyon, Freezing Man. Yeah, we did. We did a challenge like that. We called it "No One Escapes Ash Canyon." I actually did a series, but it was 50 days from Ash Canyon spawn on Interloper, and I did it the day the map was released. My goodness, that was tough. I got beat up. I actually had to change the challenge, and I allowed myself two days to exit the map and loot. Uh, Timberwolf Mountain, and I actually got into Pleasant Valley as well and got the bedroll. And then I went back, learned the map, 50 days there, and then I redid the challenge from spawn and spent 50 days. So I basically spent 100 days in Ash Canyon from spawns, and it was it was a lot of fun. I liked that map a lot. It's got a lot to keep you out of trouble and a lot to get you in trouble, if you know what I mean. Yeah, Ash Canyon's definitely one of my one of my favorite maps. Big fan of it. Yeah, this was a good sized deer. Anything that's like two kilos and up per quarter, you know it's you know it's a good one.
with the firelight, it's so hard to see the difference between. These are like, this is a bit shinier, but maybe I'm colorblind. <laughs> Just take a look. We have a little energy left to do this, I think. Over 100 days. Well, it was like 50 days in one block, and then I redid the challenge and did another 50. But it was all it was all straight through. But I really like when a new map comes out, and that's my go-to move: is spend 50 days there, and then you have to learn the map. You don't have any any other choice. You got to do it. Okay, so we got the venison, 15 minutes, 13 minutes, we need one more stick at least. 8 minutes to boiled. I want to get a tea on here. We have to, we're gonna have to get some outdoor time in. Oh, we might lose exhaustion here, chat. Pain in the Ash, Shem. That's that's a great name for a challenge, my goodness. Where were you when we did that one? <laughs> Obviously I was doing this whole, you know, kind of the same thing. Like I'd done Timberwolf Mountain, Hush River. So it was like the same series, Escape From. But yeah, that's a great title. Oh, Arcadelia. I didn't even see you said it, Pain in the Ash. Yeah, I just watched Shem and gave them all the credit. Ark, if that was your idea, you didn't think of the name? Okay, well, props to whoever came up with that one. Serious props. This giant pile of venison. You know, they're all half slices, but let's go. We also have rabbits to process, probably. Let's see. Uh, what does it say? There's two out there, potentially. So we'll, we'll sleep and then we'll go do that. You know what? We did spend like <clears throat> four days at uh, Deer Clearing outside, so. I'll be doing it in Nogoa. Yeah, Blades, like, I want to do 50 days in every region on Nogoa from spawn. Like, I really think that's a good idea, but this is my, like, intro to that. You know, I'm getting a sample. This is, like, the flavor pack. You know, I get a little little treat of each region and see how I handle it, how awful it is, etc., etc. All right, so here we go. We're starting to get cold. Is there any repairs we can quickly do to help us out? This would give us quite a bit, actually. Let's try it. Go, Astrid, go, Astrid, go. No! Brutal. <laughs> we don't have that much cloth, chat. Uh, I probably shouldn't have done that. Cake stand? Yeah, it seems like uh, a lot of folks are playing it in the muskeg. Definitely, definitely trending. Uh, there's something about the muskeg, though. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, I don't have to stress about food. We actually have tons of food. Ash Canyon was, uh, last... No. 2020. December 2020 was Ash Canyon. Right? Yeah, 2019 was Bleak. 2020 was Ash. 2021 was Black Rock. All right, seriously, how much cloth do we have here? Four. Brutal. I guess we'll just sleep through the blizzard and then do some reading or something.
Okay, there's a chill weather. Let's go think about rabbits now. 26, okay. Might as well go grab them. Oh, it's a little cold, maybe. It's not that far a walk, but... I'm not sure I can carry much more. Where are my snares? Oh, there they are. I was like, where did I put these snares? Hidden. Ruin. Snared. 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 Oh, it's so slow when you have something in your hand. You have to pause like two seconds. Can't be bothered. Just going, running is like as fast as walking. <laughs> Anyway, I'd be able to map would be after Ash Canyon. You wanna try all the do do them all? Sorry, I don't quite understand. I don't quite understand. You're free to play any map you want, Blades. Alright, let's not get eaten by a wolf here. And if we do, we want the vest on. Oh, they're frozen? Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Well, I guess we'll wait until we have a fire and thaw them? I don't know. Uh, it's, they won't thaw in here just because it's warm, will they? Using a flare gun or keeping it? I'm gonna try to keep it, because it looks like we're able to get food. Like, if I'm desperate and I need food, I'll shoot something with the flare gun. Oh, I got you, Blades. Okay, nice one. I missed out on, on that, obviously. <laughs> but yeah, I saw uh, Acidic had like a 200 day run in um, this pack is in the muskeg. Like, that's nuts. It's absolutely bananas. Okay, let's get some sleep. Now, they're just frozen solid. Darn. I don't know that I really want... It's good, it's good cooking skill though too. It is good cooking skill. Died 250 plus, crazy. Yeah, well it was only a matter of time because of matches, right? But the fact that he managed to live that long on what was in that region, crazy. Absolutely nuts. Oh, Meglens! I keep forgetting! We have this whole Meglens thing, don't we? Uh, not right now. Wait, shouldn't it be a Meglens day right now? Well, yeah, I see sunshine. It is nighttime, I get it. We were like a minute short. I'm humming and hawing about having a fire. I have free fires, folks. Free fires. What do I care? It's getting dark out here. I'm look for shelter. I don't even know where you are. Where is he? Sneaky devil. Okay, let's read our book. I'm happy to read. Let's get our fire starting book read and then we can use that as fuel. Beautiful. Look at that. Firestart expert. Nice. Okay. It's worth it. Uh, thanks for following. One happy balloon. I appreciate the follow. Welcome in. A uh, sit rep shim. Alright, we're on day 32. 
We're in Timberwolf Mountain, so we survived 20 days in Blackrock. We've summited. We've managed to kill two deer. Four, no, th three deer now in this map. Three deer. So two at uh, deer clearing. And we brought one of those deer, all the whole deer, down to the hut so we could eat it here while we crapped up the pants. Uh, so yeah, we've done the summit, we've looted everything but Eric's Falls and Forest Cave. We haven't killed a bear or moose. Our hacksaw is the one one thing that we kind of have as a concern. 25% hacksaw, no way to repair it uh, unless we find a toolkit at like Eric's Falls or Forest Cave or something like that. So yeah, wish me luck. <laughs> So we have another eight days to spend here in this map. Uh, I think I'll probably start a fire to, de to thaw those rabbits, and then we won't waste any any opportunity to do cooking. Uh, let's just get a bit of sleep first, so we have enough time to do the whole whole thing. One of the rabbits was at like twenty five percent, so I shouldn't delay too long. Uh, one happy balloon, it's no one gets out alive, which is a custom code that is basically everything cranked to max difficulty. So there's a quick blurb about it. Uh, it's uh, no condition recovery either, so you don't get health back unless you stim. Birch bark tea is disabled. Uh, wolves are maxed out. Aggression, auroras, blizzards, wind, it's a nightmare. But yeah, we have a lot of fun with it, and uh, if you have any questions, let us know. Lurk, enjoy Lurk, take care. Packer, I won't do anything too exciting while you're gone, I promise. Alright, let's cook. Fire Striker. 100% chance? What What's uh, matches plus a book do? Where's our book? Didn't we just... Oh. <laughs> 100%. Nice. Longest run in Nogoa? Um, my longest, like, vanilla Nogoa run is I only did a 50 day run. Otherwise, I did outer Nogoa, which is outside only, no going inside buildings, and I had about a 300 day run. Uh, and that oh, run, That's I think, good. could go to a thousand days. I still have it. We have, we have tons of matches. We have four stims in our pocket. Like, we're literally live in. I just decided to do other things and that file is still alive. We just have to like go back and play it. Uh, the, the other thing too is, uh, you know, my colleague and, and friend Perfect Trip has this amazing record in Outer Nogoa and I don't even want to beat it. I just want to let that record sit because he lived 222 days with 1% health. I think it'd be rude of me to even go there. <laughs> That's a legendary run that should live on. Never to be challenged, but no, seriously, um, 222 days at one health is nuts. So these are going to quickly thaw here, hopefully. Put them right by the fire. I don't know if it helps, but we're going to try. In the meantime, we'll just boil more water. Eighty-five. Yeah, committed. Balloon, we've been playing a lot. We've been actually playing this game code, no, no Goa, for about a year now, I want to say. I feel it was around May. What happened was um, I was talking on stream about playing around with custom to make like the hardest code possible, and PT was in my chat, and he was like, Wands, I kind of already did that. So I was chatting with him, and he shared the code with me, and he, I was like, what do you want to name it? And he said, no one gets out alive. And then I put out a bit of a bounty, where I was like, any streamer who gets to 50 days on this code first will get like a prize, right? And then I gifted some subs. But yeah, of course, Perfect Trip won. PT had that beat in like two days. He got to 50 days. <laughs> but yeah, it, it actually was a lot of fun. A few streamers sort of messed around with the code way back then and then slowly started picking up momentum, getting used by all sorts of different content creators. It's really neat to see. So uh, shout out to Perfect Trip and uh, everyone who's tried no Goa code. Awesome work. It makes for good content, TLDers. Makes for good content. It's just very stressful. Every every decision has uh, an impact, and you can really, you know, 
wreck a run by having one moment of neglect where you where you misstep or make a bad play. So it's really kind of it's not very chill, so to speak. It'd be neat if you could open this window more so you could peek out there. Hey, look, is that what that's about? Look, it's the mountain. Do you see how the door lines up? That's kind of cool. <laughs> Screenshot worthy. No. Are we doing it? Yes. We can never have too much water, but we'll uh, focus on just getting these rabbits processed. Or freeze to death in a cave in the muskeg just after foraging. Yeah. Doors line up. Yeah, I don't know. Like, I, I, I just wanted to get a view, but you don't get a view of the aurora when you're standing. So I was like, we'll crouch. And then there it is. Boom. The mountain. Perfect. See? Other people appreciate it. Yeah, see? We discovered something. <laughs> ah! No! <laughs> That sucks. I hit the uh, Windows key. No! Now I have frames. Ah, yeah, see, I'm all framey. I don't think you guys are framey, but I am. So I'm gonna have to get a save point. When I, well, I'll wait till I need a break and then I'll reload. But yeah, I hate that. If I alt tab out, my frames drop. Unbearable. Absolutely unacceptable. All right, now we can process by hand these rabbits. And start getting some cooking skill from them. And then I guess uh, the guts too, we might as well get the guts while we have this fire. Yeah, the title of the stream says let's get cooking five or something like that. So let's try it. Like we should get some outdoor time tomorrow though we've been just inside too long might as well eat this rabbit since it's just kind of annoying <laughs> get it out of our inventory Yeah, but for anyone who wants to try the code, at any point you can pop into the chat, whether I'm online or not, and type in exclamation point Nokoa, and you'll get the code popping up. And feel free to give it a shot. The, the thing that makes it really interesting is the start is incredibly hard. You're in a blizzard at midnight, and the, the idea is you spawn in no feats, random location, and uh, it's pretty, pretty much just a struggle right from the beginning. Okay, now the question is, what... What else do we need? Do we have enough water? Do we have enough... Let's go for another hour, just to get some extra water. You never know. Maybe we don't need to cook any more water for the rest of the week here. And let's try to grab a few guts. I didn't realize it's only 32 minutes over 30 with the hacksaw. It's actually really good. Might as well be doing that by hand. Say that again, Astro. Mm. 
I'm not going out there. It's an Aurora still. Well, it's... Yeah, it's an Aurora. <laughs> Pretty well. Plainly see. Okay. And now... Tent. So let's process these guts. And then we'll sleep. And then tomorrow we should really go hang out in a cave or something. Otherwise Cabin Fever might be cropping up on us. I think we have one or two hides for repairs, so I should probably check that and make sure. Hey, Delquaz, welcome in. Sorry if I'm butchering your name. Good to see you. Okay, we do have two two hides, so we're... Wouldn't hurt to have more, though. <laughs> Especially since these are going to... Wait. You know what? I'm just noticing this, chat. Because our carcass harvest skill is higher, the time to harvest things is less. I've never gotten carcassing four in like the last six months of playing this game because I always die at day 50. <laughs> We're getting it. We're getting it, chat. Progress. Not using the hacksaw has actually uh, accelerated our carcass harvest skill quite a lot. So that's something to think about. The hide. It's it's not that bad. What are some of the best places to get over cabin fever? So like right now, I'm in this cabin. That kind of sucks because you'd think it's an outdoor spot, but it's it's an indoor spot that has cabin fever. But right outside, there's a fishing hut. So fishing huts are really good. Uh, you can go into a fishing hut, light a fire, and just fish for a couple days get rid of cabin fever that way. If you don't have the firewood, uh, the other best option is uh, an outdoor cave. So say, like, are you at camp office or somewhere like that? Like, wh wh where are you right now? Let us know. Where's your Where's your base? If your base has a cave nearby, it's really strong for cabin fever. One example would be like uh, Carter Dam. You can always go to the ravine cave to ward off cabin fever. Or if you're at camp office, the um, Lake Overlook cave, really good spot. So caves, cars, if you're desperate. One thing I do a lot is in Quonset, when I'm crafting, say I'm crafting like a bear coat, I'll craft, craft, craft all day long, and then I'll go outside and I'll sit in the truck and I'll cook water. And uh, there'll be sort of like a, a warm fire that's pretty windproof. And then I'll, I'll, I'll sleep in the truck for an hour at a time while I boil water. If the fire blows out, it's not the end of the world. I might get a little cold, but that way you're you're at least right beside Quonset, and you're sleeping in a truck, warding off the cabin fever risk. But really, the fishing huts, I think, are one of the best spots, fishing huts, because you can have a fire that won't get blown out, and you can actually get food. So, it's pretty good. You can cook water in cars. No bell pepper beside the car, beside the car. So the truck at Quonset, if you can picture it as you exit the back, I put the fire right at the wheel. So the fire and the pallets, uh, or the fire's in between the truck and the pallets, and it's kind of a windbreak. And then you just hop in the truck. Just make sure you don't get out of the truck and step in your fire. Your favorite route from Pleasant Valley to Destination Point, so somewhere on the way back. I usually get cabin fever. Yeah, so Destination Point has uh, not really a great place for cabin fever because the cave has a bear in it. But what you can do is get a lot of coal and then hang out in a fishing hut. Like if you're if you're going through Pleasant Valley, Cinder Hill, you can get a ton, a ton of coal and then force your way into a cave in Pleasant Valley. Like as you enter Pleasant Valley, you're looking out from Cinder and right below you to the left is a cave. You can always just go down there and hang out. There's two caves actually, one has a bear. So you could eat the bear, live in his cave. But yeah, really um, caves with coal or fishing huts is what you want to do. Uh, Coastal Highway doesn't have a great cabin fever situation for caves, just the fishing huts. But again, those I think are some of the strongest. Quonset and the truck, like I said, is also really good. But yeah, you just gotta sort of find fuel to support you and then you're fine. Then you're set. If you don't have firewood and you have to stay outside, it's gonna be bad time. 
Omson, Om, Oms Unique. Unique, welcome in. Oms, sorry if I'm butchering your name. Welcome, welcome. Is this rabbit frozen now? I kind of, oops, oopsies. Yeah, we can't do anything with this. I'll just put it in the, uh, on the shame shelf. Center, centerpiece. Okay, no more new snared rabbits. Great. Snow shelters are okay. Snow shelters are more like an emergency. If you're really desperate and you have cabin fever, full blown, then maybe you want a snow shelter. Somewhere like like the best, best place you could you could do this, um Delacroix is Winding River in between Pleasant Valley and Carter Dam. There's a cave. And in the front of the cave, you can put a snow shelter. So you basically have the snowy part at the front of the cave that's windproof permanently. And you can put a snow shelter there. And you can put a fire beside the snow shelter that won't blow out. And you're outside, you're in a warm snow shelter. And you can have a fire that's safe. So that's huge. That's a huge snow shelter spot. So Winding River Cave, where those rabbits are, is really good. That's a great idea. But yeah, I, I would actually just push through to Carter Dam and then go to the ravine. The ravine is my favorite cabin fever hideout because you have birch bark, you have deer, you have deer carcasses, you have rabbits, and then you have the Carter Dam craft table not too far. All right, we got to get out of here. We got to do something. Go find some sticks or something. Wander around, go to a cave. I don't know. I am going to take both because I don't want to forget my pots and then all of a sudden be away from my base. Do you think stone shelter on the outside of the cave is better than the back of the cave? I don't- can you get one in the back, Blades? I've never been able to. Actually, honestly, I don't know if I've tried. I've always just put it at the front. But if you can get in the back, then obviously that's better. <laughs> oh yeah. Oh yeah. I think I saw some cattails. I'm gonna just try to go wander over and grab them. But yeah, if you can actually put a snow shelter at the back of that cave, that'd be way too OP. That's where I'll live when I go to Winding River. Oh, you better believe it. I wouldn't even need to have a fire if I bring some meat and water in with me. Boom. I keep forgetting I have a Meg Lens chat. You're gonna have to remind me. It's team effort here. Because I can Meg Lens it up. Oh, I see what you're saying. Well, I guess the idea is, is if uh, <laughs> you don't have a bedroll, that's what you do. But yeah, if you have a bedroll, just hang on the back of the cave for sure. I think you get 15 from the snow shelter. So if you have a fully repaired bedroll, you get 20 plus your clothing. So that's that's pretty good. That's a lot of warmth. Forgot we ran out of those. And the idea is, is we're gonna scrounge cattails and try our best to just have a stockpile. That way when we say run out of meat one day, we have all these cattails that we've been saving up. Hey, welcome back. What did I miss? Uh, nothing. Nothing at all. We just processed the rabbit that we caught. Got some cooking. Yeah, we died, respawned, got to exactly the same spot we left off. No worries. Didn't miss anything. But yeah, we're just um, cruising. Cruising around this spot. I'll try to get a bit more outdoor time. Where we're picking up sticks, breaking up sticks, you know, this is this is the idea in, in nice weather like this We're just gonna try to do some chores Do 
Yeah, I'd love to repair some stuff, but maybe we just wait until Pleasant Valley. Pleasant Valley, we could end up getting, you know, better jacket or, you know, combat pants or something like that. So we'll see. I just want a quick warm up. I don't even want to sleep. Grab a few more sticks. If we can find any, that is. But yeah, typically with cabin fever, it's. It's about knowing when you're about to risk it and acting in advance. So that's what I mean. When I when I go crafting at Quonset, I make sure that even if I don't have cabin fever risk, I know I was inside for 12 hours. I'm going to go outside and, and sleep in the truck for an hour at a time if I can. And then I'll boil water if it gets too cold. And then when the fire blows out, then I go inside and sleep. And uh, hopefully that helps offset any cabin fever risk I'm I'm acquiring while I'm crafting all day long. <laughs> 